What's up everybody, my name is Opie the Fitness Animator and for those who are new to the channel, welcome. And we're going to be reviewing the Agora robot rig. It's a bit different, but it looks really cool. You know, they have quality rigs anyway, but we're going to we're going to review this and just go over it and even do some animations in the next videos to come. You know, we'll do some different stuff like robot animations. So before getting into it, I just wanted to say to you, so there's a deal on for the Maya Animation Mastery for those guys who are thinking of enrolling and really leveling up the animation skills. For now, there is an offer for 50% off the Maya Animation Mastery. You can click on the link below uh, for a limited time only. Okay, guys, so check that out. Check out the webinar first. You know, if you feel like it's for you, you know, the student testimonials there, you can check out as well. And now let's dive in and review this rig. Okay, okay, let's check this rig out. So first things first, we'll start from the bottom up, right? So let's have a look here. So you've got the main controller that moves everything. Then you've got the secondary main controller. So you might want to rotate this a certain way and then this a certain axis. So it's always good to have those extra controls. And then we look at the feet. We come here, ball roll, standard, right? Ball tip from the tip toe, heel roll. Pretty much standard, right? The stuff we've got here. You've got the twist, tip twist. Oh, that's nice. And you've got the heel. Very good. Pivot in banking side to side. We have that. So very nice. Yeah, you can change the order, order here of the axes if you want, which is pretty cool. Toe control, you know, you've got individual here as well if you don't want to use. Well, I mean, you, you need to use that. Yeah, you need to use that one. Uh, uh, yeah, and then you've got your pole vectors standard as we have. Now, these are really cool here. Now, uh, this these handles. Now let's see, we can move them. Okay, you can make, you can do a little bit of rotations with them, which is cool. And on this side you have rotating the legs, which is nice here. Yeah, you got that control and individual. Okay, upper body, upper leg, and this is the whole leg. Yeah, and this is the upper leg. Nice little controls there. So you've got a lot of control so far. Excuse me over these. And then we have this is the main pelvis main spine. Yeah. So that moves pretty much everything. Okay. And you can change the rotation orders there. Inside here, we have a little control. Okay. That rotates the spine and lower legs. And then you've got the hips, which is just the lower bit, which is really cool, right? You've got, you can really isolate the the controls and then moving up we have a uh, mid this is ik yeah mid or you can rotate well it's ik mainly yeah. you can rotate that side to side and then we have the main torso controller this is the spine chest okay which is cool and then this middle one okay that's cool so this one the whole arm and this one It's this one and this one is oh, you've got a little middle one in here which just ah oh, it doesn't affect the arms as much which is cool and then this upper one here this pink one that is like the chest for the chest and then you can also translate these yeah and this one yeah that's cool so that's a standard upper torso and of course, you've got the shoulders here, which are always cool. And then these little blocks here, you see these? These are little like for adding little secondary motion, you know, which is really cool. You can just, you know, add a little overlap on the chest as well. I believe you can translate them as well. Yeah. So it's nice to have that. And then this little one in here, what's this? Oh, right. You can control the whole thing. Oh, that's nice. Little. So that's really good for adding that little bit of detail that you want. And on here as well, the plates. So that's really cool. And then of course you've got the arms, the IK and the fingers. You can select both of them and then rotate. Thumbs as well. Pole vectors. Again, with the legs, I'm assuming this is for rotating as well. Or yeah, you can rotate. 
a little bit extra you can add in there and that's same the other way and the head you got this little eye thing moving the eye you also have an arrow here that can move it head control so this is for the head yeah translate and then you've got the spine so these are well you select these controls here you can rotate these and also rotate this this is the neck what's this bottom one that's the bottom neck is there a neck control or what you do you have to just rotate these together isn't it actually you've got oh you've got the head control there. that's cool so this is also head control but that is not affecting the neck this one affects the neck so that's cool and then you've got these that's for rotating that's the head okay is that the head with the neck no just the head all right so that's the main control for the head and then you got just the the head here this one controls everything and you can even move it so that's cool so and then of course you've got your extra antennae rotations here but then you have this bottom one as well that you don't want to forget about which is nice to have it coming out here so it's really easy to access all the controls right and from behind as well as in the front you have the same back plates and then you've got a control in here that basically shoulder blade scapula well not scapula but the this is the shoulder scapula area here you know and then you've got this it's really cool so basically these you could use these for like it come everything comes out all the parts come out and then goes back in so that's pretty cool that's really good and behind here is more or less the same stuff so it's very effective but again you know very simple that's what you want you don't want to rig that's overwhelming either you know uh but i'm i'm pretty sure that you can add so if we come here you can put on so this is the main control here so obviously the head and everything all corresponds to the you know obviously the leg and the head and everything but let's select the overall so if we select the overall you've got a little scale here that you can scale everything joint visibility subdivision if you want it to be more uh, subdivided let's see if we can put it up okay that's not working for some reason but never mind uh, secondary controls is there any secondary controls there they are at the bottom right did they show up anywhere else just at the bottom so you have some more extra controls here, which are ah, it's basically the tiptoe ones. If you don't want to use the channel, you can use these. Ah, I see. Okay, that's cool. And then let's check out the torso. So in the torso, we only have an auto auto select. So say if we move this. Okay, so it doesn't stretch when we do this. But when we put auto stretch on, does it stretch? Yes, look at that. It moves up, it moves down. So nice little feature there, you know, for any sports and stretch cartoony stuff. Legs. Legs, we have the IK, FK switch, so you can see here. IK, and then you just go to the corresponding leg, switch it back, and then you've got, sorry, that was FK, this is IK. Okay, and then uh, arms is the same. We've got the arms here, IK, FK. So here we've got nice. Go back to the arm, switch to IK, auto stretch as well. So as you can see, if we do this now, it doesn't stretch. But if I add auto stretch, it will stretch, right? So that's cool. That's nice. What else does it have on the features? Follow space, follow route, all that. Yeah, that's the standard. If you want the arm to follow the torso or not, if you want it to be independent from that, you know. So, but yeah, overall, that is the rig. A lovely rig. I like it. It's simple. We'll do a robot 
kind of an animation where there's something different because we always do the organic ones. And when I talked about how things move organically, they move in arcs or robots. They move in uh, depending. I mean, you could animate it organically too. You know, the actual film by I say is right. The robots one that was all organically done. But um, yeah, we'll do we'll do a walk or run something. Maybe we'll do an organic one. But it's nice to have this have this character. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. And like I said, there's a limited offer if you want to enroll into the Maya Animation Mastery. Student testimonials are on there. You can see, you know, three of my students have got jobs in the industry by following this program. And hopefully more to come as well. Yeah, so check it out. Check out the webinar first. See if it suits you, you know. I've had all good reviews from students, you know. They're all enjoying the course at the moment. There's a private Facebook group as well. And then there's an inner circle group when you join the course you get into a more exclusive group as well where we give more detailed feedback so check that out click on the link in the description and in the meantime stay healthy go for a walk get off the screen and look after your health as well okay guys until next time happy animating see you later